everyone. Welcome back to Spine Siksha. Well, uh, today I wanted to discuss one of the recent current affairs, so which is about the registrations of uh, migrant workers. Okay, so uh, the Supreme Court, as we could see the news, the Supreme Court has recently, you know, directed central government and state governments to complete the registration process of, uh, you know, unorganized workers where they could get all the welfare schemes and all the benefits from various government schemes, which was provided by central and the respective states as well. Well, according to the SC's observation, like Supreme Court observations, the record of migrant workers, where, uh, you know, it has told that, uh, you know, the states and union territories must, uh, you know, record all the, um, you know, migrant workers, where, uh, including about their skills, place, earlier employment, etc., so that, uh, you know, the administration can extend necessarily helpful to them. So where all the details of uh, everything must be taken up of the migrant workers and the common national database, like there has to be a common national database for all the organized workers, uh, you know, where they're situated in different states and all. So that, uh, you know, this process has been initiated by Ministry of Labor, Okay, so it was organized by uh, Ministry of Labor and uh, Employment for create uh, Ministry of Labor and Employment for uh, creating a national database. Okay, uh, for creating national database for this uh, unorganized workers, where it should be complete and with collaborate with all the states and the central government as well. Okay, and not only that, uh, if you talk about the mechanism for supervision. Okay, so where, you know, the to monitor and to supervise, like whether the benefits and, uh, you know, all the welfare schemes which has been reaching this uh, migrant workers or not. So there needs to be higher authorities where they could keep an eye on uh, the supervision and all. And a dry ration to the standard workers where, you know, under the Atma Nirbhar Bharat scheme, where again, we've discussed that one nation, one uh, uh, ration card scheme. So under that, whether the migrant workers are getting you know, the required food uh, grains and all, all the food facilities and all. So this is what, uh, you know, Supreme's, uh, uh, Supreme Court's observations where it actually noticed and, uh, you know, suggested to look after that. And not only that, as they could see, uh, you know, the issues right now, which were actually going up with, you know, there has been delay in registering workers, um, you know, that's been the major uh, barrier preventing of access for this registration. Uh, right for the Ministry of Labor and Employment, uh, where they're trying to make up this national databases, but there has been delay in this registration process. Okay, so that's why uh, the Ministry of uh, Labor and Employment was actually trying its level best to look after that. And labor departments, like uh, there are so many barriers, like lack of guidelines on procedures. Okay, so and there has been delays in uploading data. Okay uploading the required data so that uh, they will be eligible under this uh, registration and all. And not only that, uh, you know, uh, you know, you cannot submit a hard copy to the portal, right? So it cannot directly be updated by others as well. So they need to go for, a, you know, a recognized or respective uh, government offices and departments. So where they could verify their uh, data and they could be uploaded into the labor registration and administrative issues, yes, of course, you know, the migrants where they kind of get in this registration, uh, administrative issues and all, uh, you know, uh, wherever the ADA card will be sufficient and multiple documents will be required. So these kind of administrative, uh, you know, issues were also been there and exclusion of vulnerables like you know, vulnerables like Muslims, lower castes, where they have been discriminated in the society, and not only that, uh, labor recruitment patterns and employment has been, you know, different according to the work skill set and according to the states, and also these are the major hurdles as you could see, and as you could see the picture over here, the hotspots of migration where I've just kept the, uh, you know, map of our country. So where, as you could see, the world's largest pool of migrant workers emerged from UP and West Bihar. So yes, as you could see over here, so this is the major area where you will get a larger portion of uh, migrant workers has been coming from, okay. And uh, yes, as we all know that we have around some, you know, 30% plus 
migrant workers are there like around um you know major percent like 31% of our population was actually included into the migration right and so what exactly is this registration well they need to give a self act uh, uh, self declaration acceptance and where it will give an universal access to the welfare schemes and to give the social socialistic agenda where everything cuz we are a socialistic society so yes that is how we are going to look up and take up of this and as of course uh, other than this we have a lot many provisions related for this uh, you know migrant workers as earlier we discussed one nation one ration card right and national food security act and uh, you know not only that we have uh, uh, migrant workers acts and uh, uh, we have unorganized social sec uh, social service security acts are there right and there are so many acts where they have been taking up look up for this but yes we have a lot of uh, you know issues keep on going that you know uh, where as you could see the authority shall not insist on any uh, you know a particular id card and accept as a self declaration from the workers right and where the documents are determined just uh, you know for the state resources so that is a major issue and uh, not only that to get the welfare schemes they need to have documentation if they have been documented then they'll get the scheme but unfortunately if they had documentation as we've discussed in our uh, you know one nation and one ration card that other in other card there has been so many errors are there so this kind of a self declaration will actually have so many you know documents and all and as you could see the registration process i've kept over here like eligibility criteria and they need to go for the checklist and they need to follow the guidelines and the documentation where they need to get and they need to apply then they will go for verification and checking and once they have been verified and the application has been approved so then they will be registered and they will get all the registration uh, i mean like all the benefits under for this migrant workers so of course it is a bigger task uh, but we need to see where forward how it will take up into the you know for the migrant workers in the upcoming months and days so yes it is also a kind of a reformation for labor departments so you know to bring all the transformations in all the departments and all and the migrant workers will actually get because due to this pandemic we have seen so many migrant workers have couldn't access the basic facilities as well so yes that's why this process was you know supreme court has been ordered central government and state governments to you know fasten up this registration so that they will get all the benefits and all so yes social security measures should cover all the unorganized workers right to bring overall development in our countries and as i mentioned that 31% of our population was actually uh, you know inculcate in this migrant works and uh, they are migrant workers so yes that's why supreme court's recent order regarding this uh, you know registration of migrant workers stand up for a right for the weakest and recognizes their critical contribution to the economy and it is of course it's a very uh, great decision and hopefully the government will works and the database will make up a little faster so that's how we will get and uh, let's hope that this registration process will finish sooner and get benefited for all the migrant workers in our country so this is what about the registration of migrant workers like who are you know why exactly we needed this my uh, registration and what is the process and what was the sc's uh, judgment to why it insisted the governments to look up and take immediate action and maintain this database and all so yes that's all for today that i wanted to discuss and uh, i'll we'll see you guys with another video thank you and please subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon for the notifications and uh, do check out our website for the courses that we're going to provide thank you